less than a week from Thanksgiving, and a town hit hard by flooding gets a timely gift. Volunteers made it happen in the village of Fort Plain, where people are still rebuilding after the June floods. Lynn Falsetti has more now on the recovery. We need skilled volunteers. We need electricians. We need plumbers. And most of all, they need you not to forget about them. It's been nearly five months since floodwaters nearly destroyed Fort Plain. And while progress has been made, the Fulton Montgomery Long Term Recovery estimates they are less than halfway to normalcy. There's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of um, um, donations to be raised, a lot of funding to be had. Um, we're, we're needing. Um, a lot more help. We are on Reed Street where a few months ago after the floods, this road you couldn't even drive on. Now you can see cars driving on the road with ease. However, many of these homes are still condemned. One of those right here behind me. Right now, the village is looking to find many of those who owned condemned property to get them to sign off, allowing the homes to be demolished. I'm waiting until spring. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to realize after the winter hits that there's still some more flood damage that they've got to repair and they're out of resources. We're told the long term recovery has been helping nearly 70 homeowners. They were joined by the American Red Cross Saturday, giving those left with next to nothing an early Thanksgiving dinner. Renee Shoemaker was one of those in need who, with the help of volunteers, was working to rebuild her life. Oh, the whole thing has to be rebuilt. Well, I was expecting to see, you know, some damage, but not the extent to, to what I saw this morning. This is her home on Main Street, but for the past five months, she has been living with her three children and mother in a 33 foot camper trailer. Nobody can really understand unless they've lived through it. I mean, I've seen things about floods on TV and never really got it until I lived through it. It's devastating. I think people tend to forget about a disaster after, you know, six months a year. They probably figure, you know, everything is taken care of, but it's an ongoing thing. And for those here, many are left hoping to finally be home for the holidays. In Fort Plain, Lynn Falsetti, CBS 6 News. Well, if you'd like to help in Fort Plain, one way is to send some money over that way. We have some information on how you can help on our website, cbs6albany.com.